Welcome everybody to our monthly parent-child engagement activity. My name is Ms. Ms. Gladys. I'm Mr. Adam. I'm Ms. Elisa. And for this month, we decided to do a summer collage as the heat is coming, guys. Um, so this, the materials you'll be needing, magazines. I'm sure many of you have these lying around. We'll need paper. Or I, I'm using a just a box, like a piece of box. We will need glue sticks. So whatever you cut out, we can put on the construction paper. And then finally, we will need scissors. Right. So you know uh, collage. Um, so we're, the first step is to be cutting um, off the magazines. So you can start off letting your kids know, cut out things that remind you of summer. So I already have the pre-cut summer stuff, but just have them browse through their magazine and then let them cut it. It may not be perfect, but this is going to develop their skills in fine motor. And I found some cool things for summer. Roller coasters, I would love to do that again. Some watermelon, some fruit. We know this is fresh in season. I got my little Starbucks cup because we cannot do summer without Starbucks. So just whatever interests your child, whatever catches their eye, cut it out. I cut out sandals because that's when we start seeing sandals, sunglasses. I cut out this woman with her luggage. Um, traveling, a lot of people go on vacation during this time. And then flowers, you start seeing them blooming. And here's like a bee. I also cut out this couple that's getting married because summer is a time when there's many, many, many weddings. Ice cream, I cut out two of these just because we know kids, they're hot and this is what they're thinking about when they're out there playing. Um, so once you have like all, everything cut out, you will wanna grab your construction paper or cardboard, whatever you have, and then you're just going to begin applying them. And the pictures can be overlapping. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a collage. Let them just put it on however they want to. And really give your child the independence to do this. You know, this is not something that has to look pretty. This is just something to get all of their ideas in pictures on a little board. And this is something we could reference all throughout the summer to see if we did the activities that we posted on our cardboard or on our collage. And for the little ones, think of some inspiration or things you want them to learn about. So I cut out some clouds, um, some flowers, and you can make this kind of like a collage, but also a mood board, something that you, like an inspiration board for this summer, for this year. Um, you know, the new school year is just around the corner, so what are your inspirations or what are your goals for this new year? So, go wild. And especially now that things are opening up, like what do you really want to do now that we've been cooped up inside for over a year? And for the two-year-olds, you can um, tell them to describe what they're cutting, why they chose it. It's always good to also open up their mentality to other things that they don't know. See a lot of soccer going on now because they can play outside. So you can talk about sports and what they can do when they get a little bit older. And to kind of see a rough draft of what it's going to look like, I'll show you mine. See, it, it's not the most pretty thing, but it, it really does represent everything I want to do this summer, my interests. Again, up here, potatoes, carbs, all summer, y'all. I got, I got Chance up here, our local Chicago native. Dogs, I know we're going to see everyone walking their dogs this summer. Down here, I got some sunscreen. We're going to be out and about all summer. It's going to be hot. I, I cut out this book set because you see a lot of people picnicking and some are reading books. They might not know what a picnic is, but you can start describing what that is. I got um, a map of the world. 
because I would love to travel more. Fitness, wellness, and happiness, that's what I try to do. It's a goal to be more, um, to work out more. Um, love painting my nails, love reading, and planting. So this is my little mood inspiration collage. And you can see how different, we'll yeah. all hold ours up. See how different they are? But they're all beautiful. Yes. Yeah. And again, it's, um, this activity is to find fine motor skills, cognitive, and language skills. And to go a little more in depth, so fine motor skills, I know we talk about this every time, but anytime we're cutting with scissors, we're gluing, anything that we're using to strengthen our fingers or our hands, are enhancing our fine motor skills. Language is also a big one that we talk about every single time. The point of these activities is to be having these back and forth, reciprocal conversations, and then going to cognitive development, you know, really going in depth about asking your child why they chose um, the certain picture from the magazine or why is it important to them and just kind of finding out what it means to them. Well, that was our activity for June. Please, please share pictures when you're doing this at home. We would love to see them. And again, you're going to be entering a raffle if you submit this. Thank you for joining us for the parent-child engagement activity. Bye, everyone. We look forward to seeing your collages. Bye.